but the brace works pretty good. When I traded at my local gun store for the Diamondback DB-15 pistol, I was taking kind of a leap of faith. I didn't really know a lot about Diamondback as a company or, or the pistol. There's very few reviews on YouTube and, and not even really a lot online. The only things I could find were, were older reviews and uh, I think I did find one that had like one of the newer models with the you know and some with different uh, variations like with the, the ten and a half inch barrel but uh, I have found out some stuff and uh, apparently Diamondback was an airboat manufacturer and they've done that for for quite a few years and then a few years ago they broke off into producing uh, firearms so I think they started out like the DB380 pistol, which I've never fired. I've seen them there. It's a budget gun, and they've expanded now into uh, to like sporting rifles and whatnot. And uh, anyway, what I've found out is uh, Diamondback is located uh, in Cocoa, Florida, near Cape Canaveral, which uh, is actually very close to where I was born and uh, lived the first several years of my life, which is it's a beautiful place to be, but uh, that doesn't really apply much to any of this. So, so apparently after they started expanding into firearms, they partnered with uh, Taurus, which is maybe LTD or TD subsidiary, something like that. And uh, they're not made by Taurus, and, and Diamondback makes all their firearms there and, and does the warranty, but... Uh, Apparently they partnered for sales and marketing through Taurus. So, so I found that out. That was interesting. Um, but anyway, what I want to talk about is I've put a, put a few hundred rounds, probably about 500 rounds through this DB-15. One thing right off the bat, I you know, as far as like the feel, I like the the rubber grip that it's got on it. I've always uh, kind of been partial to rubber grips. Uh, the gun is really tight. Pull this out. One thing I, I had a concern with, I was concerned about the uh, the bolt and all. I didn't know much about this company and. Uh, it looks, I think it's got a, a nitride finish on it, but if you can, you might be able to see. After, like I said, 500 rounds, I've not been able to see anywhere whatsoever on the carrier, which I'm sure it's, it's bound to happen. There's some, uh, apparently with the pistol configuration, it's got some higher pressures and the, the speed that the carrier moves in is a little faster I guess with the uh, just with the pistol design so one of the reviews that I did see they stated in the review that they thought it would be a good idea to carry to have like an extra bolt and uh, maybe some spring setup due to this setup with it with the bolt and carrier moving so fast so I don't know. Um, I'm not an expert on it by any means. It's been a, a just a pleasure. I mean, this thing is a blast to shoot. 